Om Shanti. This is the Abhyakt Murli of 23rd of January, 1976. And the title is Revelation of the Father through having the highest and holiest thoughts, words, and form. Do you create every thought and perform every action while considering yourself to be the highest and the holiest? Highest means the highest on high Brahman. In the variety form image, Brahmins have been given the highest position. Just as your position is of the highest top knot, so too is your stage also the highest? Just as your name is so elevated, so too your honor and your activity should also be the same. The praise of the Father is highest on highest God. Therefore, the praise of the children is highest on high Brahmins. The memorial of this elevated stage continues even today. Whenever people want to carry out any elevated or auspicious task, they have it performed by those who are called Brahmins, priests. Even today, you see and hear the memorial of the elevated actions which were performed at this time by the form of the true living Brahmins. On the one hand, you are able to hear the praise of the elevated actions that you performed, and on the other hand, you are playing the elevated part. You are seeing the practical and the memorial both together. Through your memorials, you show how elevated you were. You are that now, and you will be that in the future. Just as Brahmins are the most elevated, so too the period of the Brahmins is the most elevated out of all ages. That is, it is the time of the Confluence Age, the time of Amrit Vela, and the time of Brahma Murat, a spacious time of early morning. Why was this most elevated stage of the Brahmins created? Because it is only the Brahmins who attain the elevated fortune of being cooperative and performing the highest, the most elevated task. Are you able to keep in your awareness your elevated part, your highest and high father, your elevated position, and your elevated honor. Throughout the entire kalpa, you will not be able to attain such elevated fortune again. Even now, you hear what the memorial of such highest and holiest souls. People sing praise of your deity form instead of you Brahmins. What is the praise of the holiest of all? People sing praise of the lotus eyes, the lotus hands, and the lotus mouth even now. Now, check in a practical way whether your every physical organ has become as detached as a lotus. Just as a lotus is detached while forming relationships and connections, in the same way, are you detached from the attraction of the body, bodily relations, and bodily world? Do any of the physical senses pull or influence you to see something or hear something? To be under their influence means to change from being the holiest and to become an evil spirit. When you become an evil spirit, your activity makes you experience sorrow and to cause others sorrow. Then, from being the highest Brahmins, you become Shudras. Therefore, 
always have the awareness that you are the highest and the holiest. Only when you have this awareness in a practical way, that is, only when you have this in your thoughts and in your form, will you be able to celebrate the year of revelation. In order to reveal the highest and high father, you yourself have to become an embodiment of the highest and the holiest. Otherwise, how can you reveal the father? To reveal within yourself virtues and activities like the father's is to reveal the father himself. Through performing an elevated task, you will glorify the name of the highest father. Through your spiritual image, you have to reveal the spiritual father so that every soul sees Father Brahma in every Brahmin. The creation should reveal their creator. From everyone's lips, there should just be the sound emerging that God himself has made them so fortunate. Each one's fortune should glorify the image of Bhaktada. Each one of you should make yourself such a divine and clean mirror that many others have a vision of Bhaktada. The practical stage of being equal to the Father will enable others to have a vision of the Father. The meaning of celebrating the year of revelation is to make the self equal to the Father. These physical means are just a namesake, for the permanent means is that of being an embodiment of success. An embodiment of success will automatically prove that it is the highest and high God who has made you so elevated. So together with the facilities, also adopt the form of success. All three, your thoughts, words, and deeds should be the holiest and the highest. Only through having such a stage will you be able to reveal the Father. Bab Dada is happy to see the children's zeal, enthusiasm, elevated thought, effort, and love, but is also showing you a plan to be able to take cooperation in the future. Everyone has the same thought, united thought, has great power. Stabilize yourself in a stable stage and put this thought into practice. There is praise even now of the image of fortune of every kalpa. That is, it is eternal. Acha. To those who reveal the image of Bhaktada through their fortune, to those who, like a lotus, constantly remain beyond temporary attractions, to those who stabilize themselves in the holiest and the highest stage of self-respect, the same as the Father, to those who reveal to every soul, the Father's love, form, and relationship, to such most elevated, highest and high Brahmins, love, remembrance, and namaste from highest and high Bhaktada. Personal meeting with Bhaktada. In order to celebrate the year of revelation, Everyone has made special effort to reveal Bab Dada through the newspapers and cards. These two are essential tools for service. However, people look at the newspapers and cards, etc. when they receive them, but then these things merge in their awareness. You would not say that they completely vanish because it is this awareness which merges that then emerges at the right time.
This is why one would not say that it has vanished, but that it has merged. Through this, the land received a little water of love and introduction. But how could it give the fruit of revelation? Of course, you watered it. But what for? To receive fruit. How will that fruit be received? That is, how will those thoughts take a practical form? You would not have cards printed all the time for this. Nowadays, what desire do the majority of souls have? To attain peace and happiness. Of course, the desire to have peace and happiness. But what do the bhagat souls in a particular desire? The desire of the majority of bhagats is to see the light for even one second. How will you fulfill their desire? The eyes of Brahmins are the means to fulfill this desire of theirs. Through your eyes, they should be able to have a vision of the form of light of the Father. Your eyes would not be visible as eyes, but they would be seen as globes of light. Just as you see the stars in the sky, in the same way, your eyes would be like sparkling stars. However, only when you stabilize yourself in the form of light will this be visible. You should be light in your actions. That is, there should be lightness. Your form should be of lightness and your stage should also be light. When all the effort makers see you special souls make such effort and that you have this awareness and form, they will also continue to make this effort. While performing actions, check again and again, am I light in my actions? Do I have any burden of actions? The burden of action would pull you towards itself. If you do not experience any burden in your actions, then you will not be pulled by that, but there will be transformation to karma yoga. So this method and form embodiment of celebrating the year of revelation is in everyone's intellect, is it not? You have made such a plan, have you not? You saw how Baba in the Sakar form performed a great deal of actions he was involved with the expansion, was entertaining, and had contacts and relationships, and how he was completely detached to the same extent while having contacts and relationships. Just as it is easy to interact and relate with others, so it should be just as easy to be detached. You need to have such a practice. At one moment, it will be the extreme, and the next, it will be the end. This is the effort for the final year and the final stage. Create such a stage, rehearse this, and perform this drill. Perform the drill going into the extreme and then the end. At one moment, be in close relationship and the next moment, be just as detached as you were in connection, as though merged in a lighthouse. A lighthouse means your home of light. One minute be on the field of action and the next minute be in Paramdham. Acha, meeting the mothers. Bob Dada has had special love for mothers from the beginning. Who had the special part in the establishment of the Yagya? Who were the instruments? At the end also, who will become instruments to bring about revelation and beat the drums of victory? The mothers. At the confluence age, the gopis 
have a special part. Gopi Vallabh, the father of the Gopis, has also been remembered. Mothers always want to find an elevated person who comes from a good home and who would make a good husband. What more do you want when the father has made you belong to him? Whenever any situation comes up in this beneficial age, don't see that situation. Don't see the present time, but see the future in the present. That is, when someone is causing you sorrow or insulting you, just think that there is some benefit for you in that. The benefit is that that sorrow or insult will bring you closer in remembrance to the bestower of happiness. Do not see the external form, but see the form of benefit in it. And then any situation will not seem a difficult situation. Through this, you will be able to benefit. Acha, blessing. May you be a resident of the original land who considers this old world to be the foreign land and thereby remains beyond. Some people do not even touch things from abroad because they feel they should use the things of their own country. In the same way, this old world is a foreign land for all of you. Therefore, remain beyond it. That is, you should not be even slightly attracted to the things of the old world, which means the old sun scars and nature, etc. Become a resident of your original land, that is, have the form of the soul residing in your elevated land of Paramdham. And in terms of this divine family, consider yourself to be a resident of Madhuban. Maintain this intoxication. Slogan, if the reins of Srimad are strong, the horse, that is, the mind cannot run anywhere. Some questions and answers from Avyat Murli's question. What is the Brahmin world? Of what thing can there be no name or trace in Brahmin life? Answer, the land without worry is the world of Brahmins. There can be no name or trace of sorrow in Brahmin life. Nothing is lacking in the treasure store of Brahmins. Lack of attainment is the cause of sorrow and attainment is the means of happiness. So Brahmins are embodiments of all attainments. That is, they are embodiments of happiness. Question, what are the two special means of happiness and how can you attain them in Brahmin life? Answer, one is relationships and the other is wealth. In Brahmin life, all relationships with the father are eternal. No relationship is lacking. And in terms of wealth also, you have all treasures and all types of wealth. That is, you have the elevated treasure of the wealth of knowledge through which you automatically have all attainments. Question, what does Bab Dada think when he sees or hears of children experiencing waves of sorrow? Answer, Bab Dada thinks, hey children of the ocean of happiness, since you are the emperors of the carefree land, how can you experience sorrow? You must definitely have gone outside the boundary of the world of happiness. Some become attracted by artificial attractions or false images. In the memorial of the previous Kalpa, when Sita crossed the line of the code of conduct, she ended up in the cottage of sorrow. Question, what world 
is even more elevated than that of the Golden Age. Answer, Madhuban. Although Madhuban is in a tiny village, as soon as you reach there, you say that you have arrived in the world which is even more elevated than that of the Golden Age. Even in a jungle, you experience the greatness and auspiciousness. You experience your world to have changed. Whenever you Brahmin souls are amidst an atmosphere of sorrow, you are like lotuses. You are beyond sorrow, emperors of a carefree land. Om Shanti.